You know, one of the greatest gifts in life is the gift of friendship. And in 1 Samuel 20, we're given insight into one of the most treasured friendships in all of the Bible. In our chapter today, we see that Jonathan was willing to take the risk of standing up for David, even when it almost cost him his life. You know, Jonathan didn't forsake David during one of the toughest times in David's life, nor did he even evidence any kind of selfish ambition in their friendship. I mean, Jonathan, he knew very well that David would one day take the throne that could have very well come to him from his father, but we don't read about any sense of envy or jealousy. Instead, there was loyalty. Also, both Jonathan and David, you know, they pledged their commitment to protect each other and to show kindness to their families if anything ever happened to either one of them. You know, there's so many lessons on friendship in this chapter. And we get to see kind of in action some of the New Testament exhortations to watch out for each other, like it says in Galatians 6, 2, and to truly care for one another. As the Apostle Peter exhorts us in 1 Peter 4, 8, he says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. See, the takeaways from this chapter today, well, there are many. But let me just leave you with, with two. First and foremost, every aspect of good and godly friendship, evidence between Jonathan and David, is ultimately fulfilled in Jesus. He is that perfect and complete friend who will always be there for us. And secondly, well, at the end of our chapter today, we read that David had to leave. Not only his friend Jonathan, but began to live a life on the run. And you know, for Christian friendships, not even death has to be the end of our friendships. For when Jesus returns, we know that the dead in Christ will be raised and we will be joined together with them. In the words of 1 Thessalonians 4, we will always be with the Lord. One of the greatest gifts in life is the gift of friendship. So invest in that gift today. Be a good and godly friend to those whom the Lord has placed in your life.